Okay. Okay, y'all. Welcome back to my vlog. Welcome back to my channel. It's another vlog. I'm um, traveling with Bay. We are in Tampa. I didn't show y'all the airport because I was tired. We literally woke up rushing, made it to the airport, got on our flight, and I was knocked out. So we just made it to the hotel. And we about to get some food. We met the chef at the hotel bar on getting on the elevator and she said she was gonna cut up and they got a show tonight so we're really just grabbing some food and chilling today is tampa tomorrow is jacksonville and this is that time like my hair should be did it i need to find some time today or maybe tomorrow to do a life update video so i could just fill y'all in on everything that's going on it's been crazy why i have been inconsistent with vlogging and everything i have to give y'all all the deets do y'all and yeah then we had a QA and a um y'all wanted us to do about our relationship so we might not get to that this do weekend because he's working and i don't want to act right now but okay at least give y'all a life update in this video okay we're gonna see what we can do all right honey we at this bar let me see if i can get a little drinky drink because if it's a drink <laughs> i'm gonna have it but this hotel is really cute huh Oh yes, um, I told the chef, but I'm gonna do the honey sriracha fried chicken sandwich. And you want that with fries? Yes. And what did you guys want to drink? You can get him a Coke. Is Pepsi okay? Pepsi's fine. Sure. You have sparkling water? I do. Let me do raspberry rose. Okay. But a uh, lime on the side as well. Sure. Thank you. Let's have a little lunchy lunch. Let me figure out what I'm going to drink. Drink. <laughs> Hi. We have arrived at the venue. Look, dress. Where is this Drew Hill? Oh, it smells good in here. Oh, yeah. This is cute. Bring you on the ginger ale? Please. <laughs> Number one! And now I would like to take just a few seconds just to look around the room and everybody in here and say, I fucking told you. <laughs> I fucking told you the moment we started recording this shit that this was the coldest podcast. I told you this was the number one show among this ever. The number one TV show that ain't on TV. And now look at this shit. The number one TV show on TV. TV. Yeah. I can't want this for you. You gotta want this for yourself. Don't never let nobody tell you what you can't do. Everybody in this room know what they said that we couldn't do. Not only did we do it, we did it our way multiple times and look at the room. Look at the room, bro, look how many people we are able to provide opportunities for. Outside of comedy, man, this is crazy. We literally living out our dreams and we so far ahead of the competition, we don't even have none. We just over in our own lane doing our own thing. That's crazy. That we really pulling this off, man. And just to look around the room and see the characters that we got that's pulling it off. It's so unsuspecting. <laughs> <laughs> it's so unsuspecting. They would never expect us to figure this shit out. <laughs> and that's crazy, bro. And it's just like, just going into, like, from a small ass room, talking shit with your friends. They're having the whole write up in Forbes magazine. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's go. Have the number one show, and we know what they spent on us. We know what they spent on them. But we still, the people chose us, so we got to do that. And like Flat always say, we don't keep God first on that. Yeah, none of that possible without that. And just to be selling out theaters and arenas and shows and comedy clubs and podcasts, and, you know, just to have the wave is amazing. But it's not possible without everybody in this room. So I just want to give y'all. She going running, bro.
I think I'm gonna drive because I will get seasick. Not seasick, the car sick if I sit in the back seat. So, yeah. Waiting for the car. Whoa. Man, you know what else I know? Come on, come on, let's get a granny. Because you know how else I know I could sing? Because J-Lo had all them hits and J-Lo couldn't sing for real. And then when you could rap, you could be like my little Cool J. Let it go. No. I don't want to let it go. Now look like his mama just dropped him off the school. The car outside. We made it. Jacksonville. Jacksonville show. Here we go. Look at that family. Oh, he's so fun. Mr. Miller, Mr. Miller. Hey, what's up, girl? How are you feeling tonight? Feel amazing. Feel amazing. I feel good out here in Jacksonville. Oh, y'all fancy tonight. Everybody got their own room. TV star. Superstar. Walking. Who, me? You talking about me or, or Carlos? I was talking about Carlos. Oh, oh. <laughs> she's, a, she's a TV star. I am. When you said TV star, when you said comedian, you know, number one comedian in the country, the world, I thought you were talking about him. He's not a TV star? He's a number one TV show on Netflix. He is. He does have the number one TV show on Netflix. You're right. You're right. So y'all like a TV star duo? Yeah, it's like Angelina Jolie and like... Brad Pitt? Yeah. Are you recording us? Yeah. Or Billy Ray Cyrus. What do you What do you want to say? Well, before you record, you're like, where is this going? Because I didn't sign anything. That's my blog. I don't give a fuck what you signed. I know the guy who signs the checks. Woo! <laughs> who is the guy that signs the checks? I'm just saying. No, who is it? It's, it's Carlos and probably, your, your name's probably on there too. No. <laughs> I was talking about you. Yeah. 
Kevin Smith at me, though. They trying to fuck you hard and you trying to fuck them. I thought I was trying to get some pussy. She was trying to get some dick. The moment I was trying to get some pussy. <laughs> I ain't got this. Turn me into a bitch. Okay, that's a roll of my song. Okay, he don't like pussy. Not like that. Not for real. He can't. You want to really feel like a bitch? Go get your drawers after she just fuck the shit out of you. Then you got to untangle your drawers. Like you work in a roof, chill around this bitch. Bucky's, but I like it because it's like a big Walmart gas station and we have like been on the road oh I didn't even tell y'all so they canceled our flights so we all had to just extend the rental car and drive back home from Jacksonville because it was only a five hour drive so we're three hours in and of course I have driven most of the way so I, I'm gonna see if this little stop at Bucky's gives me the energy and boost that I need to continue this five hour drive. Maybe I could do the last two, we'll see. But let's go to Bucky's. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes we laugh, sometimes we cry, but I guess you know now. Baby. Yeah. I took a half and she took the whole. Hey, did you find your Reese's? The one thing I wanted over here, they don't even sell it in this store. For real? Ain't that shit crazy? Because they sell these. I guess like their own brand of Reese's. Damn, you what about the Rochera balls? Do you like those? I don't know. I really you know how You just wanted that. I hate that because I wanted to buy that what you was gonna get too. I don't even know why I'm at. Please don't pay that nigga songs in this party. I can't even listen to that. Anytime that I run into somebody, it must be a victory lap. Oh, here we go. I'm looking for these nuts. <laughs> Let's go. Oh. <laughs> what says ice cream books? It's like a whole home goods in here. And I never been embraced. And the money's hard to make. So I bet they on their face right now. When he tell the story that's not how I went Know they be lying a hundred percent Moved out of the wrist and forgot about that bed Why they just call me to tell me come get it Now that boy off and I don't Uh, I went looking at the house stuff Cause you said you wasn't ready Now you ready Now you calling me Now you ready and you calling me Okay I'm gonna come to the front Did you go through the line? This is how so good. It's just so sweet in here. I see you. Hi. Hi. What'd you get? Did you get you know, extra barbecue sauce? We got it over here. What? I can. We just left. I just left. 
Oh my god, y'all. So, boom. This lighting is terrible. First of all, we just got off the road. This is like some National Geographic stuff, okay? We just got off the road from Jacksonville. We came home. Now, backstory, I did know my dog was pregnant before we left. I found out she was pregnant like last week when I got her groomed. But I didn't know how long or how far she was in her pregnancy because she had been hiding it with her hair being so big. I got her a summer cut and I'm like, dang, her nipples are huge. And her, her stomach was big and I'm like, I know for a fact my dog is pregnant. Carlos kept telling me, no, she not pregnant. No, she not pregnant. She just been eating good. Man, we get off the road. I hear her like scrumbling around, like scratching the floor, scratching her bed. But that's normal because dogs be doing that when they're trying to get comfortable. Then maybe like 20, 30 minutes later, I hear like faint cries of like small animals. I come out here and she done delivered puppies in this cage. In this cage. I don't even know what to do. I am a grandma and she cleaning them. She did it all on her own. I'm so proud of you, Evie. Her water broke. It's blood in her bed everywhere. Like this is really gross. But I'm so proud of you, Evie. You're doing such a great job, girl. She just keep cleaning them and they like all sucking on her nipples and stuff. And I'm not gonna touch them because I don't want them. Oh, that one's gonna be so cute, babe. It's like black and brown. Oh, She's cleaning her puppies. Evie, you're a mama. Now mind you, because she got pregnant at the kennel and I'm assuming it was sometime two and a half, three months ago when we was going out of town right after our, my, our birthday. Cause that's the only time she around other dogs. So some little nappy headed dog at the, at the kennel done got my baby pregnant, but that's okay. Cause we gonna do some research and investigation. We gonna figure it out. We gonna figure it out. I cannot believe my dog was pregnant for two, three months and I didn't even know it. That low key made me like a bad dog mom. And we have no idea what to do. It's time to watch some YouTube to figure it out. We'll come back for an update to see how many she actually had. Cause I still think she in labor. We up to four puppies. Four puppies. Oh my gosh, she is exhausted. I got my camera out. We up to four puppies, y'all. The fourth one is under there in a little sack. She's exhausted. I think she might have had a baby with a Yorkie. Cause Yorkies, Mm -hmm, Cause Yorkies always do like her, and they and the Yorkie down the, um, at, from at my house used to always like her. She liked Yorkies. She trying to rip the fourth one out of the little. She's getting it out the sack. It's coming out the sack, it's moving. This is really graphic. It's, it's alive. Mm-hmm, that one look pretty big. That one kind of bigger than the other ones. Oh, it says on YouTube they'll chew the placenta and cut. She's cutting the umbilical cord. Mm mm. They all gotta have them. We got four beautiful puppies. Where? They in there. They under her. Oh, she got. 
I she trying to chew the umbilical cord and cut it. It's three black ones and one brown. What kind? What time is it? Look like no you girl. see the umbilical cord? What's going on with y'all over here? You sure? Can I get that back? Mm -mm. Yeah. Cause she don't want you going close. It's five little puppies. <laughs> it's crazy how animals really know what to do. Mm -hmm. Did they get their head out? Like she didn't read a book on this or nothing. <laughs> she just did it. Now y'all have some couple of babies. We have a lot of babies too. Okay. All right, y'all. We done moved into the heater. She about to bite our head off. Now they all trying to find their way back to the nipple. Y'all know it's hot enough. Without the heat, when you Okay guys, so it is day two of me being a grandma, okay? Um, I just got off the phone with the kennel, well, the pet hospital, and they told me like some supplies I needed to get, just like a scale to weigh the puppies, a different type of food for her to eat so she's creating calcium and getting all the nutrients that she needs to keep creating milk. The puppies will still be drinking her breast milk for about six weeks, but I need to weigh them every day to make sure that they're actually like gaining weight and not losing weight. Also, I need to get puppy pads because they're starting to like poop and pee in the cage. She had to lick them in order to stimulate their bodies to start peeing and pooping. And so last night they started to pee and poop. So I'm gonna get puppy pads to lay down in there and maybe her a little treat or something because she did so good delivering five puppies so let's go to pet smart and get some of these supplies don't hesitate no don't you just say you will will yeah. come through and chill 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 just say you will Them that the puppies are three days old and they're getting a little bigger. I don't really have any time to show y'all how and what I've been doing to clean it because I have to do it so quick before, like in between her feedings, um, so she doesn't like get upset with me. But I have to change these pads, um, feed her, and weigh them. There's a scale over there, I have to weigh them every day to make sure but see she's still very protect overprotective of the puppies because morgan and tristan are here and they're getting too close to her puppies see okay 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 so yeah so i have to change their pads feed evie let her go make her go to the restroom she will not leave that cage so i have to do that real quick while she's before she starts tripping so that's why i ain't been showing y'all but hopefully i can set it up later tonight and show y'all like the process but day three and they're all doing well which one do you want i want the brown one and the brown one is going to be named chocolate or brownie or brownie i got yeah. me dog the, the black one that's the uh what you gonna name? Chocolate. Chocolate. How you gonna name a chocolate and her dog named chocolate? I'm gonna name mine brownie. As the, the uh, boy is mine, right? Boy, I don't know if y'all mama gonna let y'all have two dogs. Uh, she said we're getting one, and then that's the brown one. Okay. Well, she better pay up with your money yet. Wait, how much, how much? Pay up. You been keep talking about going to the bank. Let's go to the bank and get some of your money. I got forty dollars. You want it? Forty dollars. Forty dollars. Yep. I don't think I can squeeze my little type self up in that. Forty dollars. Mm -hmm. mm. That's why I say I need to lose the five to ten before I go and be regular and then come back and then these are getting ready. Right. All right, y'all, guess what? It's Denise's birthday. Why do my camera look like that? It looks so blurry. Okay, ladies. I'm talking about okay, ladies. Okay, y'all. 
TG back here. It's Denise's birthday, and we got our two pigtails, our pink on. Look at Thane. She got on her pink, girl. Yeah, happy birthday, Denise. Happy birthday, Denise. We about to turn up. Let me show y'all what we about to do. It's the ATL. She's kind of working out on her birthday. Right. Working out. <laughs> we sweating already. We about to have us a good time. Pedal through the city on this peach roll thing. And we're going to turn up. Yeah. We're waiting on Denise. Of course, the birthday girl has to make her grand Your entrance. Ooh. Yay. We're about to turn up. <laughs> make us the birthday girl. Mama, hey birthday girl. Ah! Yes, oh, yes, you did good. I love the thing. Hey sister, look at her. You look so cute. So birthday girl, we got lollipops for everybody. And we're about to have a boo. Let's start off with you put some songs down. My bad. I got a song. Can we start off with? Yeah, what's that? Uh, girls, is that too? girls just oh, you have to do it for fun? Okay, okay. Okay, well girls just wanna have fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Girls just wanna have fun. I don't know. Are y'all putting on the seatbelt? <laughs> it don't matter if it's the remake or the original. Or do you wanna what's the reason? I ain't have a seatbelt, but it's okay. You're oh, yeah. seat oh, yeah. seat oh, yeah. oh, my seatbelt. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. I wasn't going to put mine on because I feel like it's going to lock me in. Oh, yeah. Hold on to your hats, ladies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 Let's raise our shot glasses. All right, y'all, this is cheers to Denise. We all here and gather here today because we love the fuck out of you, Sid.